Hey everyone, I'm here to make an exciting announcement, although it's a little bit of a nervous announcement for me, but uh, just to give you guys context, for the longest time as an older Melee player, I've always wanted to figure out ways to fund the Melee community. Fortunately, most of my endeavors haven't been too successful. There just isn't, you know, much money, you know, being a part of the community. Um, you know, my dream has always been to be someone like Ludwig, where he can just create a $30,000 tournament out of the blue. Unfortunately, I'm not that rich. Um, but I've come across a unique opportunity with a website that I want to help establish a Melee community fund with. So the opportunity is with a website called Rally.io. The TLDR of this website is it's a Patreon meets crypto website. And I know based on the fact that it is crypto that people are going to have a lot of questions. I will address these later in the video with an FAQ. Now with that being said, um, all you need to do is sign up using my affiliate link listed below. And once you sign up with the affiliate link, you create a rally account. What you need to do after to validate the full referral is to log into the Play Arcade website again to validate that I referred you. And for doing this, you will get 50 rally, which is about $15 um, in rally. The Melee Community Treasury Fund will get about 750 or about 25 rally. And I, as an affiliate, will get 25 rally as well. Now, keep in mind, no purchase is required. It doesn't require any financial commitment from you. And once this is done, I will send a list of names um, every so often to the rally website to just uh, make sure that these are the list of people that signed up using my link and then they will kick back and give you credit to your account. Now, if that process was confusing, I will also add a Google Doc that explains this whole process for you to reference listed below as well. So what will the melee funds be used for? Um, immediately what comes to mind is a tournament like Genesis that is struggling, you know, having to move dates. Um, I will talk to them to see if they are, you know, interested in receiving funds. If not, then I believe there are countless other people who have lost hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in change of travel because of airfare, Airbnb, and cancellation policies that just aren't the greatest. Um, it's rough times for a lot of Melee community members and also Ultimate community members. I would love uh, to see if we can, you know, help out people who have lost a lot of money through um, having this uh, date changed. In addition, um, there are other projects that I've dreamt about fulfilling, um, bringing back the Good Player Fund, uh, bringing back combo video contests, creating incentives for awesome creators to keep doing what they're doing and to pay them in a way that would keep them in the industry as opposed to having to look elsewhere to make money. Um, historically speaking, um, we funded things by compendiums and, you know, summit campaigns. And the common thread is that we're relying on the community too much uh, to fund all the endeavors. And I think, you know, we saw this in the past, and I believe 2015, 2016, when compendiums were getting popular, was eventually that resource taps out. And I don't want to continue um, creating a system where we constantly have to ask the community to fork out money. It's not a sustainable practice. And I believe in finding outside funding that would, you know, and ultimately help fund projects that we dream about in ways that we wouldn't be able to bankroll on our own. And granted, you know, I have to thank each one of you guys in the past that have um, donated to Genesis, that have bought merch, um, that have contributed to Summit campaigns. Um, I highly appreciate it, but I think it's time that we find new ways to continue to fund the community in ways that I think are beneficial for everybody. Now, if you guys are already on board, great. Um, go ahead and use the link below, share it with your family and friends. You guys will get some free rally. Um, now, you guys will probably have some questions for me um, with pertaining to crypto, and I totally understand that. Um, and this is something that I don't take lightly. It was, in fact, this video, this campaign were something I was really nervous about creating, to be perfectly honest. So let me run through some very likely questions that come up. The first question being, um, is this environmentally friendly? And yes, it is. Uh, the impact of Rally is near negligible. And the reason why this is the case, uh, without getting into super technical analysis or explanations, is that Rally is on a side chain, meaning that the transactions um, aren't going to cost the electricity that you see for Bitcoin or Ethereum, where you see these, uh, you know, GeForce graphics card mining, you know, rigs that are going out. Um, Rally doesn't do that. So very fortunate. If, that, if Rally were on uh, Bitcoin, for example, I would not be supporting them. And this is something that I made sure to validate before, you know, being a part of um, the ecosystem. Um, the next question is, like, how do I know I can trust Rally? Um, other than take my word for it, um, the reason why I even got interested in Rally was because there were some ex-Red Bull employees who were um, hard 
advocates for melee and, and Smash in the past, they were the forerunners in trying to create a melee circuit, which unfortunately got squashed by Nintendo. Um, but these are the people that I've worked with that have been behind the scenes that have helped support tournaments like Genesis, um, Big House, Shine, and Evo. And so without that prior relationship, I would have not even entertained um, a conversation. But through talking with them, it was very clear that um, the people who left companies like Red Bull and Twitch and some other companies that I'm familiar with that moved on to Rally, um, that they are still trying to figure out ways in how to um, make sure that Melee still runs successfully. And so um, I've worked with them for a year. I've talked to their CEO. I've talked to a bunch of the executives who ha are running Rally, the project. These are people who have successfully run other companies um, such as Kabam. Um, you can look them up on LinkedIn. You can look at their resumes. These are well-established people. These are people that aren't anonymous. These are people that have a face, unlike a lot of other crypto projects you see where you don't know who who's creating them, who's if you're going to get rug pulled. These are people that I have you know, done an extended validation on just to make sure that the project is legit. Uh, furthermore, um, along with myself, there have been many other uh, content creators within the Melee um, Ultimate and also the larger esports ecosystems that have been a part of this for nearly a year. Um, esports organizations such as Gen.G and Elevate have been on this as well as Optic. Um, players like um, Hugs, S2J, Zane, Nun, um, Mango, myself have also been on this just to test it out and to validate that this is legit. So. Um, I know that this doesn't fully prove whether or not something is, you know, valid, um, but hopefully um, I am putting my credibility on the line here. Um, I understand the risk that that comes with because, uh, you know, if this does fail, I know that people are going to look at me and be like, well, remember that one time in 2022 when Tafo brought up this project that ended up, you know, sucking um, my reputations at the risk. And I understand that and knowing that there's a lot at stake for me, um, I'm still willing to do a video like this to help support the community I love. And lastly, like what can you do with Rally once you sign up? Um, you can exchange the Rally for um, creator coins that are in the ecosystem. Like I mentioned, Mango and Zane are on the website as well as other content creators. Um, you can uh, exchange a Rally for their coin and then either send the coin to the creator, similar to Bits, or you can buy a service from them, whether it's a match analysis or a tutorial or whatever um, they're selling merch. Um, you can do that. Um, however, if you don't really find that you have a creator that you really enjoy, then um, you can go ahead and just hit me up and say, hey, I wanna donate more money to the Melee Treasury and we can uh, go ahead and add it to the funds. Um, and lastly, how do we decide where this is going? Um, I think we can do something similar to a good player fund in the past where we as a community get to decide and vote on where to put the funds. Um, you know, if this goes really well, um, this will provide a lot of opportunities. Um, I, I think there's a lot of great ideas. I think there's a lot of people that are gated and barred by funding and finances um, to do what they want, whether it's a local hero that needs to be able to travel to a major to, you know, a tournament like Genesis who, you know, that unfortunately because of COVID has now issues to deal with financially. Um, I think, uh, yeah, so those are just some of my thoughts. If you guys have questions, um, I'll do my best to answer what I can. Um, and again, you know, if you're not about this, if you're not about crypto, totally cool. Um, totally respect your opinion. Um, and I'm not trying to force anybody to do anything that they don't want to do at the end of the day.